Hello, and welcome back to Project Zomboid. Um, I know it's been a while since uh, I last played. Mainly due to, well, first it was depression, and then it was uh, distractions, mainly. Ghost of Tsushima was released, and also the new season for Deep Rock Galactic. Um, and also a heat wave where it became 90 degrees for a whole week. And I had to have every fan running in my apartment in order to not drown in sweat. So, yeah. <laughs> so anyways, we're going to be picking up right where we left off. And that is training mechanics and eventually metalworking. So that I can effectively keep all my cars, primarily this truck, and any other car I find that I really want to keep. Like, I don't know, like a Trans Am or something. And keep it in just peak tip-top condition. So, we're going to need a tire pump and a jack. Training mechanics is a little difficult. <laughs> Anyways, snap into a Slim Jim real quick. There we go, that's level 4 mechanics, which should increase our chances of... Not fucking up installing and reinstalling parts. Christ alive. Yeah, this is boring as fuck. Who wants to watch a, 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 a tomboy goth girl just work on cars all day? <laughs> I mean, some people. Some people would. Oh, this is probably going to hurt me a lot. Oh, I don't have advanced mechanics. Huh. Well, it's a good thing there is a junkyard. Like, right here. There's a bunch of cars that we can go in and scrap. I've already got the propane torch in the, in the trailer of the truck, so yeah. One annoying thing about training mechanics in this game is that you can only uninstall and reinstall parts per car per day. So, this might be a multi-day venture. You know what? Because I need to read the next uh, mechanics book, how about we just head to the Riverside School and go and disassemble a bunch of shit there? Uh, after having not played this game for a month, uh, we uh, got to play... Project Zomboid with my brother. We finally got around to doing co-op, and it went about as well as you'd expect for him, who is new to the game, and me, who really has been playing this game for a bit now. Standard apocalypse settings, no sandbox stuff, no mods, just... Yeah. The first thing we gotta do is clear out the school, so we can safely pillage their metal. There you go. You might hear it when I speak, but I've got a fan running in my living room down the hall. So, yeah. I mean, how's it any different from hearing my laptop fans? Well, the good thing about the zombie apocalypse is that it starts in July, so which is like the middle of summer vacation. So, none of the children were in school when the zombie apocalypse broke out. At least the girl got to die at home. <laughs> as dark as it is. What a friendship blade. Fr fr friendship bracelets. Friendship bracelets. I never got a friendship bracelet when I was in when I was in school. I want a bandana. I want to look like Solid Snake. You know what? That's probably what I should have. I probably should have said uh, something along the lines of at the beginning of this video. Could have been like, kept you waiting, huh? <laughs> like Solid Snake. <laughs> 
You know, Metal Gear Solid 2. Is when, I think it's the first time he said it was in Metal Gear Solid 2. First level in uh, metalworking. And that's metalworking. So now we need to worry metalworking volume 2 and mechanics volume 3. I sit in my desolate room. No lights, no music. Just anger! Yes, we're just gonna throw our clothes into the... Is this the washer? This is the washer. By the way, I have found out those quote-unquote washers I ignored in all the other houses. They were combinations of washers and dryers, so... You yeah, know. I didn't close the door. There we go. Yeah, that's a thing. So if you press, if you get into a car and press the gas too fast, you apparently won't close the door. And the zombies will attack you through the open door. So, yeah. <laughs> Make sure you listen for that sound where it's like, like the door closing and all. Because it's not a bug if they if they attack you through the window. It's an intended feature if that happens. Right there. Mm -hmm. I love the level up sound. There's a reason why I made it my um, my phone's notification sound. I'm not entirely sure, but I think there might be like a zombie trapped somewhere in like the walls or something. Either that or I'm just going crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a room. A rubber room. A rubber room with rats. And rats make me crazy. Yep. Alright. Now let's go train mechanics. You know, I think with all these metal sheets I might be able to craft a what you call it um a metal workbench which will be useful for crafting metal or scrap weapons i can make a metal workbench with the metal sheets that i have there we go behold the metal workbench with that we can now start taking any metal we collect and putting it in there Alright, well, there is a auto shop, like somewhere, like right over here somewhere, one of these two buildings. And I want to get a jack. And since the junkyard's basically on the way, we'll stop by there. Or maybe we should hit the auto shop, then the junkyard. It's also 99 degrees inside our fucking truck. I'm also hoping that the auto shop will have, um, uh, what you call it, advanced mechanics, or advanced tuning. Shit like that. Forgot, um, I forgot how many zombies are out here. So that's what happens when you don't leave town. Alright. Seems... We're gonna have to fight. But here's the auto shop. Let's get her going. Yeah, I probably should have brought more weapons. What's in here? A jack. Aw, yeah. Well, this hatchet's basically on its way out, so I may as well just, like... 
And there it goes. Rest in pieces. Shotgun shells and whatnot. What's up, fucker? No, you... My poncho! First try. Are you serious? It's locked from the inside as well. The fuck? Wow. <laughs> Just... Wow. You know what? We'll come back to this place. Just not today. In fact, you know what? Let's go and check out the parking lot over here. Now that is a bus. Fuck. Jesus. Prison bus, huh? We are fine. Alright. Uh, uh, <laughs> um. Just. Uh. <sighs> that is an MP5. No magazine for it, though. Uh, I'm just gonna take it. And the ammo for it. Just. What the hell? Why is there no magazine for it? And there's a key for this bus. If I had the, uh... The, ve the vehicle interiors mod, I, I'd probably... You know, live out of that. But whatever. Now apparently this factory down here usually has some good stuff. You know. Boxes are usually full of loot. We're going home. We're just going home. We were inches from hitting that tree and this being a very bad time. <laughs> okay. Uh, whatever. It's fine. Not make that a habit. Right as I say that. Let's just let's just let's check out let's let's just go into the junkyard. Work on our mechanics. Right? Yeah. And that zombie is uh trapped in the uh porta pot. This is like a dodge charger, bro. Like that how is that a standard? Explain, filibuster rhymes. I can apparently fit that on my tool belt. How does a car jack fit in your tool belt? I don't fucking know. It just do. How the fuck? Okay, you know what? Alright. I see what you're doing, game. Oh, and our clothes are kind of bloody. So yeah, we'll have to go out and clean our stuff up and sleep. Oh, it's raining. Cool. Cool. Okay, those rain sounds in game are so realistic. I thought it was raining in real life. Is mechanics level six. Then I guess we'll be leveling up strength. And now we're exerted. 
And as such, I think we will watch Eagle Down. I say we shall work out another hour. Why am I in pain? Oh, <laughs> that's right, exercise fatigue. Right. That, that is some stereotypical German accents. <laughs> Der Hunder Kabult? Was ist das? <laughs> Der Hunder Kabult. Noises of German pain and death. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. I love it. <laughs> uh, Jesus. Sometimes you just need to take some slow days. You know? Sit down, read some books, do some exercise, and just enjoy life. Try to get away from all the uh, constant of fighting zombies and stuff. Tailoring level one. I need thread. You know what the best place to get thread is? It's a clothing store. It's mostly busy work today. You know, just grinding skills and whatnot. We're gonna get a rifle sling. That way we can carry two weapons on our back. Or front, but I prefer the back. Let's make a rifle sling. I just want to make one. Behold. Rifle sling. Have it set on the back. And now, we should be able to carry an extra weapon, if we want to. And then we'll spend the rest of our evening reading these DIY mags, and then we go to sleep. Alright. Oh, I have two MP5 magazines. I know what we're gonna do today. Now we're not taking out the uh, the Mini 14 or the R1187. Ooh. Hmm. It's got one of those collapsible stocks instead of a full instead of like a, a full one. So this is like an MP5A3. Ah, yeah, the HK slap. <laughs> Whoa! Alright, make sure we get our ear protectors. There we go. Oh my god, it has a tactical light on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, it's got a PRO on it. I love the PRO. So our goal today is the factory. It's gonna have Metalworking supplies, probably propane torches, which is what we need to take out car wrecks. We need multiple propane torches to, to, to destroy that uh, 
that burned out Humvee. Okay, that's level four aiming. All these doors are broken. I wonder what caused that. <laughs> I really shouldn't be fighting when I have discomfort and exercise fatigue, but I'm fine. Look. Okay, it would have been really cool if I one-shot all three of them, but you get the point. I'm still capable. Uh, and then, oh yeah, and also this is the only place where you can see a quad, a, you know, a four stack of boxes. Because you, as the player, cannot stack four boxes on top of each other. And there's a gas station across the way. We'll uh, stop by there. Do our thing. Get some gas. Uh, la cucaracha, la cucaracha. Really? Right when I'm trying to gas up. Cucaracha, la cucaracha. Ice box. Frozen. Why is every building on this fucking road? just alarmed. Y you know? Someone explain that? What the fuck? Just... What the fuck? There was the storage lots, there was the fucking, um, that, that one factory storage building, and now the, the gas station. Just, what the hell? I get that I have my, um, house alarm set to sometimes. But we've had three this one session. That is a fucking record for me in my entire time of play in playing Project Zomboid. Just, what the hell? What the hell, dude? I've never had that many alarms in one session. That is absurd. Up top. Well, that was gunfire. Automatic gunfire. Anyways, and now we make a salvage blade. Ta da! Alright, let's see this beauty. Oh yeah. It's a straight blade, so we basically just made like this big ninjato sword. 
You're probably wondering what's the difference between the Ninjato and the uh, Katana. A Ninjato is a straight blade. Katanas are a curved blade. So yeah. I'm a giant nerd when it comes to swords. Kind of. Not really. <laughs> it says homemade katana. It's not a katana. Like, that, that, that ain't a katana. Either way, it's pretty, it's pretty dope. It's dope. Let's see, how long have I been recording for? Four hours, holy shit, okay. <laughs> well, I would say that's a good place to leave off. Um, pretty slow episode. Thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you all have a good time, and be sure to subscribe to, well, catch my videos whenever I upload.